There it is. Yeah. Look at that, how it's coming along. Look at that. I got the roof all off. Hey, <laughs> David Abraham here. Yeah, it's been a been a work in progress there. That's the uh, the font, that, uh, the uh, the pool font, you know. But uh, we're gonna do a right out here. We're gonna do a waterfall coming and cascading into the deeper end here, which is about five feet deep. You see, I got a cement base. I got my rebar in there, my wire mesh uh, just placed. I haven't put it where it needs to be yet. But there's a lot going on. And uh, the foundation's real important, but as you can see, this foundation right here, it's about five or six inches thick for that patio. Because those rocks, that's got to be a about a half a ton of rock right there, and plus some mortar and whatnot. But oh, let me get that wire mesh right there. But I wanted to talk today, um, kind of mixing it up a little bit. We're in the holiday season. Um, <laughs> whew, I got my new hat on. You like it? That thing cool? Yeah, it's a good thing I got a big head because these things don't stay on the shelf long when you got a hat that looks like that, you know. <laughs> anyway, it's a it's December the second, twenty twenty one. Things are heating up. Oh man. Well, he, well, for for get started. Look at this. Look how that elephant ears finally got bit by the the uh, frost and. Uh, it has finally said, you know what, I'm going to take a break for this season. There's my blue, little blueberry bush right there. But uh, this is going to come back bigger and stronger next year. I'm excited. I still got some potatoes right out here. And i got to dig them up here in the next few few days. But um, i only put this wire mesh somewhere. I don't, dogs don't step on it. Lay it down there, wherever. All right. Let me talk to you all about something that... It, it pops on my mind from time to time and and that is the validity of your thoughts and words and the power that you have within each each one of us we have a great deal of power people some people believe in god some people don't and that's that's your prerogative that's what this whole earth experience is about opportunity to choose right from wrong good from bad and that kind of thing how you want to believe and god honors all uh those who believe in him, it don't matter what your faith. Um, now, in a previous video, I talked about President Nelson, and I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And I find it, hang on, let me make an adjustment there. There we go. I'm a member of that church, and I've been a member for 32 years, you know, and it really gets me that how, from the, how the, there ain't no revelation coming in. That's that's my whole thing. Is there is no revelation coming into the leadership of the church? If there was, we'd be receiving it from conference. But all you get is the same warmed-over talks, just with a little story added here or there. There is no difference. There is no uh, prophecy and revelating and none of that. And I mentioned this in my last video. But the thing about it is, is that as we as individuals learn who we are. And learn the power that we have within us and what the earth experience is all about and what this mortal time and where we're at during our mortal time during this time of 2021 now you can go back and you can look at all the numbers and you can uh you know look at the how the the uh, jubilee years and how the nation of israel and prophecies about them most of them are about the nation of israel but also when you're looking at the way things are today we have a, a pandemic <laughs> excuse me oh it's getting me <laughs> now i do my i do my pine needle tea every day uh that keeps you healthy i just gotta tell you uh you know there's no medicine better and it's just you just drink it down and your body just goes to work it's, it's really awesome but um at this time of what we're living in um, it's, it's, it's the last days, but I don't think we're in the last days. I think we're in the last hour of the last days, even the last minute of the last days. Now, on a time frame, that's probably several uh, years, and it's been several years. And, you know, back in 81, uh, uh, Ezra Taft Benson, he talked about a you are the generation that will usher in the second coming of Christ. Well, that was about a little over 40 years ago he said that. And 
and we've kind of run out that timeline a little bit. And that leads me to what I really want to talk about is what timeline are you on? There's two timelines in play right now. Two. There's the one of the world where there's wickedness, fear, and oh my, what's coming down the pipe? Oh, we got the, if you're watching TV and believing the news and you're believing what's coming down from Facebook and, and whatever other social media you might be on, you're being led astray. I'll tell you that right, right now, the global agenda is being preached on those uh, social media networks. And our good president, President N Nelson, is towing the line. Yeah, he's he's repeating it. Yeah, you want to be good global citizens and get your shot and, yeah, <laughs> and films it. If that's not the global agenda, I don't know what is. Now, I'm going to tell you that right now. Now, President Nelson, I said this in the last video, um, if he was the prophet and the revelator and seer and president of this church, uh, the real Russell Nelson, he would be saying things a little bit different. He would be uh, lining up the timelines and he would be prophesying about the prophecies in Isaiah and, and other places. And he would be identifying to the body of the church. But none of that goes on. It's just a continual uh you know, we're going to, we're going to regurgitate the same talks with just a different, you know, different theme to them. And, you know, well, that's well, fine and good, but you got people out here who are taught to follow the prophet, you know, uh, don't question anything the prophet does. Well, if you're not questioning anything that your leaders do, then, then you are a moron because they are corrupt. They're a corporation. They just combined the uh, corporation of the church and the corporation of the first presidency and the corporation of the bishopric and the one power. Why'd they do that? It's all about power. It's all about control. It's all about what we're going to do to lead these people. We make them think they're following a good, safe path. If you're not focused on Christ and you're not focused on your own situation, repenting along the way, you got some work to do. It's that simple. Anyway, timelines. And that's the thing. All these timelines were out there. All these prophecies about uh, the spring of 2020 and the spring of 2021 and uh, the time frame and later this year. We're in later this year, 2021. And it, it'll go. It's a beautiful day today. You know, and the timeline that I'm on and my wife is on is a peaceful one because we sue for peace. And we're prepared for, for the worst, but we sue for peace. And when... When you have desires in your heart that are focused on peace because of the power within you and me and every one of us, we bring about whatever we uh, desire. Now, bad things happen to people who don't desire it. Yes, I understand that. But the point of the matter is the words coming out of your mouth, the thoughts going out of your heart and mind and the desires of your heart. That is what God is going to honor. That's how the law works. So pick a timeline, pick one of the world of fear, coercion, um, group mentality. There's no individual in this. Or you pick a timeline of peace where you love every person for who they are. I don't care if you're gay, lesbian, transgender. I, I don't care. You're a son or daughter of God. And you may have a warped view, in my opinion, okay, of the way things are, but you're still a being and a, and a son or daughter of God. And I love you. And that's where I roll. And then by having that attitude in my heart, um, I get attacked, you know, just out of the blue. I, I'm out there and people try to change my deposition on who I am. Oh, you know, hate this group, hate that group. You know, I may, I may fumble a few words here and there, but I repent immediately. And that's the whole key. My desire is for peace and love and to prepare for the worst, hope for the best, that kind of thing, which we're all taught throughout our lives. But always remember that God is monitoring every thought. It's the power of God. It's that Elohim is God. Jesus is God. Uh, that's, that's two. The Holy Ghost is God. And, um, you got to look at it like uh, at it like this. You got to really desire to know the whole core of truth. You know, there is no flat earth. I don't know where you people who follow flat earth think. It. <laughs> oh, my well, goodness, you have an eclipse. How does that work? Can't explain that, right? 
when a lunar eclipse. You can't explain that on a flat Earth theory. It's impossible. It just don't work. Because you, you flat Earth, you've been deceived. Okay, that's the thing. That's the world agenda. There's a whole bunch of things you could be involved with thinking. You know, anything to get you off the path of peace, love, and the spirit of Christ. Anything. The adversary uses many avenues, many people, even inside the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints or your church or whatever church. There's people who are consumed with money with a big smile on their face and I'm going to help my fellow man and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Well, that might be well, fine and good. But what's in your heart? That's the whole thing right there. That'll put you on whatever timeline you need to be on. Now, this is the back of our house back there. See that? I'm prepared. <laughs> I'm prepared, but I'm no fool either. I'm not going to you know, promote that I'm going to be doing anything to anybody. But if I get any kind of uh, issue and I feel the prompting of the Spirit to take action, I will take action. But I'll leave the, I'll leave the, the fighting up, up to God. He takes care of my business, and He has done it numerous times. Okay, So the timeline of peace... You know, it might be chaos two houses down or something like that. It might be chaos downtown or whatever, and it and it usually is. But at my house, and it has been for several several years now, it's just peaceful. We have peace here. The Spirit of Christ is upon us. The flowers blooming, the azaleas blooming. Oh my goodness. So anyway, but uh, some of the things I've done to prepare. There was somebody went down to the back road here gonna load up something <laughs> anyway one of the things I did to prepare got this gate built right in my fence you know I was working on working on that over there and I got a prompting put a gate in your backyard okay I, oh this was last year oh okay well I take that back I wasn't working on that yet because that was started in May but anyway well there anyway so I was working on the landscaping and I got that prompting and I built this gate and I've used it extensively to do the font and he knew I was going to be prompted to do the font because you know that's just that's the way that's the way it operates so anyway I got a lot of projects going on pick your timeline focus on Christ repent along the way and get you a cool hat like this <laughs> something like that I pray God bless you I don't know if that I tell you. Yeah, I told you who I was, David Abraham. My channel's, and I appreciate you viewing uh, this video and any of the videos on my channel. And this channel is not about monetary means or or uh, uh, trying to lead anybody uh, into any kind of uh, bad situation. It's just it's just based on pure testimony and revelation and thoughts and words come into my mind by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Christ. Okay, that's where I'm at with all that. But I pray God bless bless you and your family. And this holiday season, keep a peaceful thought and, and love your fellow man. And I testify these things are true in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.